second round has been really uh, very different uh, than uh, the first round campaign. It's always the case, but this year even more because there's nothing uh, bringing Marine Le Pen and Emmanuel Macron close. I mean, they're totally, totally worlds apart. That's right. And I think uh, we, we've seen this during the debate. And what's quite interesting is if we remember 2002, when Jacques Chirac uh, was faced with, with Jean-Marie Le Pen, he refused to debate with Jean-Marie Le Pen because he said there, there is no way we cannot debate with the far right. Uh, of course, 15 years on, uh, the Front National has been normalized. And uh, therefore, it would have been impossible for Emmanuel Macron to say, no, I do not want to debate. Not only normalized, they've won a number of elections. That's right, as well, in normalized, normalized for elections, normalized through, through media discourse, public discourse, politicians and themselves as well, their own discourse. Uh, and so it would have been impossible for Emmanuel Macron to refuse the debate. But we saw uh, during the debate that actually the far right remains the far right in many ways. And it was very surprising to many people and, and, and even many supporters of Marine Le Pen, the way that she reacted in this debate was typical of, of what we would have expected from a non-normalized far-right party. And in many ways, it seems like she went against 15, 20 years of uh, normalization, de-diabolisation strategy that the Front National had been putting in place, trying to kind of distance itself from its path, from aggression, uh, from uh, insult, from kind of cheap shots. And that's all we saw during this debate. We saw no program. We saw no positive uh, outlook for France, all we saw was negativity, threats, uh, allegations, conspiracy theories. Uh, and I think she, she probably did a lot of damage to her campaign. I think she, she didn't run a very good campaign in the first round. For the first round, I think she ran a very bad one for the second round. And I think she didn't. Uh, it will be very interesting to see what happens uh, for the Front National after, uh, after the second round, depending, obviously, how well uh, she fares in yes. the result. Let's, let's just yeah. wait for... Uh, for uh